So I have most of the, uh, the under the bonnet area cleared out. But I want to take this part out. I'm going to paint, of course, inside of here. And uh, this whole front section with the, with the grill and all of that comes out, including needs to be refinished. And you start by uh, removing uh, the front bumper and this uh, little fascia here. So that's what we're going to do and, and get that off. And then we're going to pull off that, uh, that whole front section there, which you can uh, pull off with the radiator attached to it. But the radiator is already uh, off and it's uh, being refurbished. Okay, so to get this front fascia and uh, and uh, grill off would seem to be pretty easy. There's some screws up at the top, and then there's a set of screws along the bottom here, and they're easy to get to. The nuts are just behind them here. So getting the front bumper off is really simple. There's just two great big nuts you have to take off, and that takes off the fascia and, uh, and the bumper and, of course, the bumper mounts. So pretty easy to do, and... Uh, and then that will allow us to get after this whole section here. Okay, well, lucky me. These all came off intact. The studs are all okay. And uh, they look like they're quite use usable. And there you can see how they help to hold that front section on there uh, with these little studs in the back. So, so far so good. Next, uh, we'll tackle uh, all these things and then we should be able to pull this right off. Besides the, uh, the screws on the outside here uh, and of course that little piece of trim with its studs, the other thing holding this in place is of course the, uh, the mechanism, the lever um, for the, uh, the bonnet release here. And so uh, that's just held in place by a uh, a, a, a pin that has a cotter pin in it and uh, and there's a spring so those have to come off um, and, and then uh, then of course once we get these all done we should be able to just remove this from the front of the car all right so we're at the final stages of removing this uh, front section of the uh, the Morris Minor along with the grill all the fasteners are out and I have to say it was a real dog's breakfast of different types of fasteners on the bottom here I used just about every spanner in my collection. So once those are all done, and you're sure they're all out, this just easily pulls away and uh, off of the two uh, bumper mounts. And then you have tremendous access into the, uh, the engine bay uh, with this off. Now, I'm going to be refinishing this, of course, and see if the grill is salvageable. That bit of chrome isn't. Painting it and all of this. But... For uh, stripping down the rest of the engine compartment and stuff, this is a uh, fantastic uh, ability to do this. Now, I started today uh, to take the head off to fix one little thing. And uh, that was to take that bypass uh, adapter tube out. And uh, there it is. That's what started all this trouble. But it took me a day to get the head off and to... Uh, to get this thing out once we had it in the shop, we went to my son's shop and, and got it out there. And uh, then I decided to go after the engine compartment and start getting it ready for uh, 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 stripping and painting. And, uh, and I decided in doing that to pull the front uh, cowling off and the grill. Not bad for a day's work, I have to say. And this is the little bad boy that caused all the trouble. And thankfully that's out now. So to repaint the car and uh, redo the grill and all of that, we have to sort of take apart this front uh, apron section uh, of the car and, uh, and get it ready to strip and uh, get all the component pieces out so we can, uh, we, can, we can finish them and paint them. This is what the front of it looks like. And if we flip it over, it's made of three pieces sort of the outer apron here. There's an intersection here, which is already pretty loose because when we take it off the car, we remove these. And then there is the grill uh, underneath. So we're gonna need to disassemble this uh, inner apron uh, to get at the grill. And then uh, then we're gonna take off any bright work that's on it so we can strip and, and refinish, it, uh, refinish it. And it's, it's fairly straight. Uh, forward process. Uh, you can see these little 5 16th uh, 
and that set are in there. We're going to just we'll have to undo the top set here. And the bottoms are already free. And then we'll be able to pull this section away. So once those little nuts are undone, the set, the inner section just comes right off and pulls away uh, from the uh, from the grill and the outer apron. Um, what those uh, nuts are attached to are studs, and they're studs attached to a bit of bright work around the top uh, end of the grill, the top of the apron here. And so uh, we're going to take that off as well. And uh, that uh, typically is made out of pot metal, and once it begins to corrode, it really is very difficult to rechrome it. You're going to pretty much be into getting uh, a new piece. Uh, some of the newer ones are, are not made out of pot metal, and uh, and you can fix them. But um, anyway, that will come off as well. But right now, of course, we have this section along with the um, the bonnet latch is completely loose, and we can take that apart, and then we can uh, strip and refinish that. Okay, once those four uh, four nuts are off, the grill comes free. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this can be smoothed down and the rust removed and it can be reused because otherwise it's not in bad shape, but it does have some surface rust on it. All right, then there are all the component pieces taken apart. And uh, Aside from the chrome finisher at the top there, which is pretty pitted, um, they don't look bad. Hopefully uh, we can uh, get them all refinished and uh, and reuse them. I'm hoping to get that surface rust off the grill there and uh, be able to uh, paint that and put it back in.